Meantime, more snow this morning and more wind on the way. 27 First News reporter Corey Frumpkin is live in Boardman this morning with a look at how things are shaping up. Hi, Corey. And good morning to you, Amy and Damon. Well, we were a little bit on the move here this morning. We started off in Youngstown right across the street from the station there. Now we're in Boardman at the Boardman Plaza, and these winds continue to howl here this morning along with those cold temperatures that are continuing to set in here. And as you can see right now by this wind gauge, we're currently near the 10 mile an hour range with these winds out here, gusting near 15 miles per hour right now. And those winds will continue to increase as we head throughout the morning and into the afternoon and evening hours. Also want to show you here this flag out here right by the post office here in Boardman showing that these winds are very strong right now. Actually on my wind gauge, we're looking at now about a 12 mile per hour wind gust there. It's going to be a very windy one here this morning. Wind chill readings will be anywhere between 10 and 15 degrees below zero through tomorrow morning. And that wind chill advisory actually has been extended until 10 a.m. tomorrow. Again, those winds will be anywhere between 15 to 25 miles per hour with gusts up to 40 miles per hour during some times here. So make sure you cover up exposed skin if you need to be outside here this morning and throughout the rest of the day today. And also hold on to that steer. There's another one right there. Hold on to your steering wheel as well as you're driving this morning as it'll be white knuckle driving throughout the remainder of the day today. And if I hold up the, the, <laughs> the anemometer here again, we're going up to near 16 miles per hour right now. And folks, these winds will only continue to get worse as that front continues to move on through here. And those wind chills will continue to come down anywhere again between 10 and 15 degrees below zero. You can continue to monitor the situation. We'll continue to monitor the situation for you as well throughout the day today on First News at noon and at 5 and 6 o'clock as well. I'm Corey Frumkin reporting live here in Boardman. I will send it back to the both of you.